I'm gonna reveal my top five places that you can go to in California to pan for gold for free. And I got bonus material at the end of the video that you should watch of places that I personally go to and I guarantee you can find gold every time. Coming in at number one is Auburn State Recreational Park. This is a place where you can go and pan for gold for free. And of course it's in the heart of the mother load country. Now right across the way from Mineral Bar is Bear River. And of course you can go there to pan for gold too. And people find gold there all the time. Coming in at number two is the Kern River, which is the Keysville recreational area. Now this particular area has some really good bedrock exposures. And one of the places I would recommend is if you're driving up there, you're gonna see an old power plant on your right as you're headed up. There's a bridge there. Pull off to the left, park there, and you'll see the bedrock sticking up out of the river. That is a good place to check. And it's really easy to find gold there. Coming in at number three is Butte Forks recreational area and they have a very scenic area for trying your hand at gold panning and of course what list wouldn't be complete without the marshall gold discovery park that is where james marshall found the very first gold nugget that sparked off the california gold rush and coming in at number five is the San Gabriel East Fork. A lot of people have been going there for all the years. And of course, I know there's going to be a lot of subject of debate on whether or not how legal that is to pan there. Every time I go there, and even when I speak to the rangers, their biggest concern is, do I have my day pass? They don't care if I'm bringing a sluice box or a gold pan. We've made plenty of videos on the San Gabe. And the question you have to always ask yourself about any of these rivers is, where's the gold coming from? The gold that is being deposited in that river is coming from old tertiary channels and the old timers knew it and they did their best to tunnel up underneath these and they got a lot and then in the 30s they went back in there during the great depression and they were getting a lot of gold off of the old benches they weren't prospecting in the river like you see folks doing today there is one spot i can tell you that has a tertiary channel that still has gold in it now i'm going to mention a few other rivers but they're not exactly pay sites but they do have gold in them and if you're going to be in california I think it's worthy of you to go check these places out. And one of those would be the South Yuba River, right outside of Dannyville. The place was a hot spot for prospectors and of course, gold prospecting for over a hundred years. But check your land status because like I said, people are filing claims daily. And as the time of recording this video, I have no idea what's claimed up and what's not at this point. So make sure you check your land status. Also, the Trinity River and the Feather River have always produced a lot of gold. And anywhere up and down that river, you're gonna find gold. But like I said, check your tributaries, check your sandbars, your inside bends. You should already know all this information if you watched any of my videos whatsoever. Now, another good place, of course, is the South Yuba River. That place has been known to produce gold for over 100 years. And I guarantee if you go there and you put a little time and effort into it, you're going to find gold too. Now, a really cool little old town that I think you should check out is a place called Julian. Long, long history of gold mining there. Still got gold there. And it's worth investigating if you get a chance to get out there and you're in that area. Now, there's plenty of pay sites out there. But there's one in particular that I really like. And I, oh, I think you're going to get a kick out of it. That is Dave McCracken's new 49ers on the Klamath River. Now I've known Dave for a long time and he is a good guy and a straight shooter. And he's got a fantastic place called Happy Camp. Every person that I know that I've referred to him has walked away with some gold and a lot of great experiences. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave a link down below to Happy Camp because I really think that if you don't know anything about gold panning and not knowing where to go or anything, it's worth a membership fee just to get out there with Dave and have him teach you the ropes because he's been doing this for about as long as I have. And like I said, the Klamath River, where his claims are, has some fantastic gold. And I really think you're gonna enjoy it. And not only that, but he wrote a book called Gold Mining in the 21st Century. And I'll leave a link for that down below too. Super great guy, I know you're gonna love him. You're saying, Jeff, that's all well and good, but where's that bonus material you promised us? Just keep those pants on, it's coming. There are two areas that I can recommend you to that I can guarantee you will find gold every time. Did I get your attention? Yeah, I thought so. The first one is the East Fork of the San Gabriel Mountains. But the gold that's being found in that river and up on those high benches came from old tertiary river channels. And I'm gonna tell you where you can get access to one of those. Now, before you go trudging off into those hills to get that gold, make sure you check land status because it's changing daily. 
So at the time of this recording, I think this particular one is on private property, but you need to check it out. And then I'm gonna reveal my top secret spot to finding gold that was revealed to me by an old timer who worked for the oil industry. So you're not gonna to wanna to miss that. So how do you gain access to this old tertiary river channel that's feeding gold into the East Fork? You're gonna park at the parking area. You're gonna walk up all the way up the creek to the bridge to nowhere. You're gonna see a small mine on the right. It's gonna be hidden, so you're gonna to have to look for it. It's up high from the river. It's called the Horseshoe Mine. And then right above it is the Horseshoe Annex. Be careful going in there. Make sure there's no bears. Black bears love to hide in there. And somebody found a dead carcass in there once, which means that that's where the bears like to go and feed. So you be careful with that. That adit was driven as a haulage adit to get up underneath that old river channel that the old timers found. When you get to the very back of it, you're gonna see that it goes from solid rock to really soft sand and round river rock. And you're gonna see where people have been in there digging and there's classifiers and whatnot. That's the old river channel. It looks something like this. Yeah, I did find it. Hey, bear. Oh, this, that bear, oh my God. Oh my God. Look at that. Oh, look at that. I have a very bad feeling about this. Oh yeah, then over there you gotta lay down. I'm not in for that. Not now. Does anybody know where I'm at right now? Based off of all this granitic rock that you see behind me? If you think you know where I'm at, go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I'm curious to see how many people out there can identify the geology that I'm in. Now I'm gonna reveal to you some information that was given to me years ago by an old timer who worked for the oil industry. And he told me extensive information about where I could find gold in an old tertiary river channel that was feeding gold into the American River. Now, of course, at first I didn't believe him because I get a lot of these emails all the time. But as the emails started to accumulate, I started to realize this guy knew what he was talking about. I asked him why he was telling me this information and he said that he was getting up in age and he was never gonna be able to get out and find gold again. So he wanted to relay it on to me. And this isn't the first time I've gotten emails like this from old timers who've reached out to me to convey to me some of their secret spots before they pass on to the other side. But this is one secret spot I'm gonna relay to you guys because I want you guys to get out there and get that gold. So the way he told it to me was is that Back in the 70s, he was working for Exxon. In his part-time, he'd be out prospecting. One of his passions was on the American River and he'd go down to Mineral Bar all the time. He was trying to figure out the source that was feeding the gold into the river. Now, remember I told you, you can get gold out of the river and that's fine. I'm more concerned about where is that gold coming from? What is the source? So the way that he conveyed the story to me is, is he was test panning the area down at Mineral Bar. He started at the bridge, the old bridge, and he worked his way up to where the river curves to the right. And he noticed that where the river curves to the right, the gold stopped. He couldn't find any more. That was his first clue. So he realized that that gold 
was being fed in the river somewhere in that stretch from where it curves to the right to the bridge. Because after the bridge, the gold starts to peter out. It's still there, but it's not in high quantities. Every weekend on his time off, he would go up there and they would search up into the brush line trying to find the old river channels, the old tertiary channels. Now, if you know anything about California, you know that the old ancient tertiary channels used to flow north to south. And what happened is over time, those new rivers would cut into the older channels, start redepositing that ancient gold. As he was up in the brush line, they finally found one of the old river channels that was feeding Mineral Bar. And he said it was obvious, but it was really hard to get to. The river channel is about 100 feet wide and about three to four feet thick at its deepest part. And it's very hard packed gravel. Him and his buddy would rig up a zip line from high up in the brush line down to the river and they would run the gold down in the sluice boxes below. It took us about two days, but we found it. And it's really obvious because you're gonna see round river rock that's exposed out. There is one section that's easy to get to. It has a little bit of gold, but it's on the outer edge of the ancient river channel. And so what I would recommend is getting up into that point where you see that exposure of river gravel and walking up the brush line, you're gonna see where they were digging. Now I gotta warn you, there's a lot of poison oak and poison ivy up in there. And of course there's black bears everywhere in there. But you'll see the point where they were digging. You're gonna have to rig up some type of a zip line because there's a really steep drop off there that goes down into the river. And then you can rig up your sluice. You can have a person on top. You can have a gravity tram system set up if you wanna do that, which would be easier. One bucket down makes one bucket up. Or you can just zip it down with one bucket and then bring it back up. There is a tremendous amount of gold to be had in there but you're gonna have to earn it because that is some very thick brush line in there. Now, I haven't been up there in a few years, so it might be burned out by now if the fires got in that area. And if they did, well, then it's gonna be easy pickings. So I want you to get out there and I want you to find that gold, okay? And if you can start tunneling into those old channels, you can get plenty of it. Now, keep in mind, this is hard pack, so it's gonna take a lot of work to get into it. I dug into it with a pick. It took quite a while just to go a few inches, like they called the blue lead back in the day. So make sure you got plenty of time, you bring plenty of equipment, keep an eye out for those black bears, watch out for that poison oak and that poison ivy, okay? Now don't forget, we're gonna be giving away a brand new Gold Monster 1000, we're gonna be giving away bags of pay dirt, we're gonna be giving away silver bars all the way up to 25 ounces, and of course that big gold nugget that we mined out of our drift mine, all you gotta do is look for the link at the end of the video that looks like that. Go ahead and click it, make a $10 pledge, and you instantly qualify to win the gold, silver, and that Gold Monster 1000. Speaking of drift mining, if you like videos on drift mining, go ahead and watch this one. I guarantee you're gonna like it and you'll see where my wife pulled out that monster gold nugget. And I'll see you on the next video.